ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, representing Turkey, Murad Aigo. And Christian, that was just our first semifinal fight. We've still got a second one coming up here right now. Murat Aigun against James McSweeney. Take a look at the tail of the tape. McSweeney just a little heavier, quite taller, uh, nine years older, and much more experienced. And McSweeney experienced not only in kickboxing and Muay Thai. He's had over 50 fights as a kickboxer and a, and a Muay Thai fighter. But he's also competed in the UFC. Uh, under MMA rules. He's also recently uh, had a bare knuckle boxing contest, but this man, Morat Aigun, the butcher from Turkey, undefeated in his career as a kickboxer, 15 and 0, and he does not want to start losing here tonight. No, 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 he's, uh, he's a very good puncher. He, he faces all, all the, the best kickboxers around the world. Also very experienced fighter. And I think uh, he will uh, go in the final. This is my, my opponent. And he also has experience in tournaments. In fact, the last time he was in a kickboxing ring, he won uh, a, a, an eight-man tournament and won, uh, won the whole thing. Yeah, $100,000, I think. Yep. Yeah. Making his way to the ring, welcome. England's James McSweeney. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> no words needed, huh? The 39-year-old sledgehammer, James McSweeney. Competed all over the world. This has been his entire life from the time he was a small boy. And the last time we saw him here in mid-fight championship under kickboxing rules, he absolutely knocked out Daniel Ilunga in a very impressive contest. This time, he's going for the gold. This bout is scheduled for three rounds and represents semi-final number two of the K-1 rules mixed fight heavyweight four-man tournament. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 185 centimeters and weighed in at 113 kilograms. His record flawless at 15 and 0 with six wins via knockout. Representing Turkey, Murat the Butcher, Aigo. His opponent fights out of the red corner. He stands 193 centimeters with an official weight at 115 kilograms. His record, 18 victories opposite 14 defeats with 13 wins via knockout. Representing England, James the Sledgehammer, McSweeney. Your referee, Jurgen Leving. Our second semifinal fight in this 100 kilogram heavyweight championship tournament at MFC 27. James the Sledgehammer McSweeney on the left of your screen. Morat the Butcher Aigun on the right. It's also worth noting that uh, Aigun is a former champion here in mixed fight, but that was in 2016. The belt has since become vacant, and he's got a chance to win it again. Oh my. Both guys standing right in front of each other there when the bell rang. Aigun, explosive, lands a right hand on McSweeney. Another right hand found the way in. McSweeney goes downstairs with a low kick. The butcher goes to the body. Can McSweeney bring an end to the undefeated streak of Aigun? Or will it be Aigun once again becoming the MFC heavyweight champion? Nice well, 
you can just feel the energy yeah. in the ring right now between these two. Look at them just standing there, studying each other. I know that McSweeney has recently uh, relocated. Oh, ho, ho. big shots going in there from Igu. McSweeney now living in the United States where he's opened up a new gym in Texas. He's doing a lot of his training camp in America, in Denver, up in the mountains at altitude. Eigen keeps putting on the pressure here. Just narrowly missed the chin of McSweeney. Ooh. Nice left. Oh, powerful Ooh. shots. Look at this. He's got him trapped against the rope. McSweeney turns him now. Coming up on a minute left. In round number one, this is already longer than our first semifinal. McSweeney slips under. McSweeney's also been preparing for this fight with Alistair Overeem. Misses that head kick upstairs just narrowly. Oh, whoa! He's, he sat down almost and nearly went out of the ring. Oh my, these two are trading some heavy leather in there. McSweeney on the receiving end of some more shots from Igun. Igun does not compete as often as McSweeney does, but when he does take a fight, it's a high profile one Ooh. such as this. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. lord! Look at this! Igun unloading on McSweeney at the end of round one. And you can see some damage on the left side of the face of McSweeney after that barrage of offense from Igun. Igun didn't get out of, of round one unscathed either. He's got a cut, I believe, over his left eye. There's the, the left eye of McSweeney. That last exchange was brutal. Good face in the very first round, huh? Oh, oh look at the cut yes. there. That is a clean cut over the left eye. And it's a very long cut, too. Take another look here, folks. I think all, I think all that damage happened in like the last 10 seconds oh, of the yeah. round. Maybe it was yes. from the knee, I'm not sure. Here's this exchange at the end of the round. These two were just swinging all over the place. Oh, there was a right hand there. That might have done it. There goes the bell. Round number two underway. Our second semifinal of the MFC Heavyweight Championship Tournament. But Sweeney unloads with a right hand, bounces off the cranium of the Butcher. Christian, how did you see that first round? Well, a swinging one, but I don't know who's in the front. I, I think uh, Sweeney is a little bit... Oh, yeah. He's in the front. Well, that cut now has been reopened over the... Oh, over the left eye of Igun, who smashes the ring full force. Oh, that, that cut has popped open, yes, yes. and he is just gushing blood. Small open, huh? Now the referee trying to get McSweeney into a neutral corner so they can clean up that cut. Look at the blood squirting out. It looks like a B-level horror movie at this point. <laughs> Look at how long the cut is. It's like it's half the length of his eyebrow. Oh, that is nasty. That is real nasty. I don't know if they're going to even let this one go on. Look at that thing. Looks like the Grand Canyon. Normally <laughs> over. Normally if, over. If, put the kids to bed. That's all. It's over. They're stopping the fight, 
and Igun is furious. Mora Igun is absolutely furious that he has just suffered his first loss and McSweeney. James McSweeney advances to the finals where he will meet Ismail Locke. McSweeney trying to tell him, I, I think, hey, let's do it again sometime. You know, these kind of things happen. Yeah, for sure. But right at this point, uh, Igun just doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. He knows that his chances of winning the championship just went down the drain. As we go back and take a look at highlights from round number two, it was, it was the cut that happened in round number one that ended up ending the fight. And this time we actually have both fighters in the ring for the announcement. Well, the crowd here in Frankfurt telling us what they think of the decision. The decision was right, no matter what. what. Can, you saw the cut, cannot, no. you saw the cut, right? Yes, yes. That's a nasty cut. Ring announcer Mike Markham is coming into the ring and he will give us the uh, the official word here. I have a feeling it's not going to be a very popular one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a doctor's stoppage. The winner by technical knockout advancing to tonight's heavyweight tournament final, James the Sledgehammer McSweeney. McSweeney victorious here. This crowd is not happy about it, but they're going to have to deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, our final later tonight is Mail Launch versus James McSweeney.